to Laura LaRoe, and if you're just joining us, this is my morning show. Now let's get back to business. In our community, there is one member that stands taller than the rest, and on a clear day, you might actually see it. Mount Rainier, a dormant volcano that dominates the coastal landscape, might have some surprises in store for us this year. After almost one million years of silence, rumors are circulating that this volcano might blow its lid to clear the air, on the air, let's take you to expert volcanologist, Dr. Monty Beaver. Good morning, Dr. Beaver. Oh yes, good morning, Laura. Wonderful to be here. I can't tell you how excited I am to be on this show. And let me just say that while I can't see you, you sound absolutely ravishing. Let's talk volcanoes. In your professional opinion, do these rumors hold any water? I've circumnavigated the girth of this little planet searching for perfect stratovolcanoes, cones, so to speak. And rarely have I seen one with such form, such grace, such fecundity as this one. Fecundity. Yes, yes, quite so. Right. Moving on. Until now, the people of Tacoma have felt relatively safe in the shadow of the mountain. Why all the commotion after it's been dormant for so long? Correct me if I'm wrong, but aren't we discussing a volcano? We are talking about a dormant volcano, Dr. Beaver. Aha! Dormant! I thought you said doormat! <laughs> Bloody hell, we're on our game today, aren't we? Let's try this again. Why all the rumors, Dr. Beaver? Well, as you know, the, the volcano has been, uh, dormant for quite some time now. But recently, scientists in the local area, such as myself, have been picking up signs of more frequent seismic activity. And you know what that means. No, I don't. Earthquakes, Miss LaRoe! You know, the rock and rollers, the sand shifters, the old whoop dee doops the subtle gyrating ballet of the Earth when geology shifts into time, and even Ross struggle for the very thing, okay, the very okay. thread of life. Right. Woodstock. You know what I'm talking about. Dr. Beaver, the old what shifters, the old shakers, the old shake and bake, and I helped us. Answer the question, Dr. Beaver. Are the people of Tacoma in danger? Oh, young lady, you take that tone with me, and you'll certainly be in danger. Is the mountain going to erupt? If you don't check that attitude, then I'm going to erupt. I'm simply asking, on behalf of our city, if there's any reason to be concerned. If this thing does blow, your only concern will be your life. How much damage will be caused, Dr. Beaver? Well, besides tidal waves of superheated glacial meltwater, mud flows the size of the mighty Columbia, and a decade of ash in winter, the viewers at home will certainly have to do without your early morning quiescence now, won't they? <laughs> Quite so. Well, Dr. Beaver, you have certainly been of little help this morning. Good day. Good day? Good riddance, you saucy little wretch. I'll see you in bloody- That was Dr. Monty Beaver. Stay tuned. I'll see you after the break. <laughs> Is it on? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. Welcome back. I'm Laura. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, good morning, Miss Rowe. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Seismologists in the local area have been detecting se seismologists. There is Does such a thing as seismologists. Yeah. Fucking. But it's not in the lines. Ow! You just threw a burning cigar at me. <laughs> trick. On. Game on. Are we rolling? Yeah. Might have more in store than bargained for in the Puget Sound. <laughs> no, that was too English. That was too English. Danger. Danger. You take that tone with me, you'll certainly be in danger. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> After oh. almost. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Chocolate milk. 